Okay, on the bench today we have an Echo CS360T chainsaw. Uh, this is probably from like maybe 2004, 2005. You can see the serial number is pretty early. I bought this saw new, um, used it a ton. I mean, it's been a great saw. It's on its second engine. Uh, first engine kind of got low on power, pulled it apart, and uh, there's just some scoring in the cylinder. Not sure where it came from, but new short block fixed that. And I went to use it last weekend, and I filled it with gas, and about as fast as I was putting gas in, it was leaking out. Um, looks like it was leaking out of the, the fuel tank grommet here, which you can see is pretty loose. So, fuel was pouring out of there. So, I ordered some new fuel system parts in general, because it's been a while since I've tuned this saw up. So I have a new fuel line with a new grommet, new fuel filter, and though I may not need it right now, I have replacements of some of these tubes here that go to the carburetor all the way back here. So I'll probably just keep those on hand for the day that I do need them because they are a little, a little wonky. So uh, let's put this together. All right, so we'll start by taking stuff apart here. I'm gonna take this grommet out with a screwdriver. See, it just came out way too easily. Take the fuel cap off on this side. This is a great little arborist saw for anybody who needs this type of chainsaw. It's not huge, as you can see, it's a 16 inch bar, but it's a really, really strong saw. Okay, well, let's take the fuel line out from the other side. I'm just going to fish these out with needle nose pliers. Or our trusty pick. I'm not expecting a tragic fuel filter. No, it looks okay. I take pretty good care of this saw. It's always treated me well. Echo is kind of my go-to brand for any two-stroke outdoor power. It's overkill for a consumer, but it'll last about a thousand years in most cases. So if you subscribe to the buy once, cry once philosophy, that goes a good brand to consider. Interesting. This new part appears to have adhesive on it. Whereas this is just one piece. Huh. Gotta love surprises. <clears throat> Let's see what we can make work here. I'm just gonna pull the carb off so we get better access to a uh, The other side of that fuel line. <clears throat> I do recall replacing this line once and it was loads of fun to deal with. Party in a little horse. There we go, carbs out of the way. So that's where fuel line hooks up to right there. Yeah. 
And I believe that part is this part. So if Echo went and changed the whole dang thing, let's just swap out the whole assembly. So it's I'm going to try and push this piece right here through that hole without damaging anything. It's almost as hard as a rock, so it's probably time to be doing this. assembly is out and then that looks like it's going to be replaced with this piece here kind of a clever design and the carburetor just hooks right up in here like so so what I like to do when we're dealing with these <coughs> two-stroke things just lubricate the parts a little bit in two-stroke oil makes life a little bit easier sometimes this might backfire maybe I'll shoot myself in the foot <clears throat> let's see if we can put it in this way Probably not much you guys can see here, so I'm just going to do this piece offline so I don't bore you with it. Alright, so I got that piece in. Just took a little bit of persuasion. So now we're going to put the new fuel filter in this package here. Take that out of the package. I'm going to put the new Oh, we gotta lubricate this. I almost forgot. Disobey my own rule. Put the new grommet in the tank. And these lines might be long enough to meet each other. That wouldn't that be nice? <clears throat> let's see. Let's grab that hose. new fuel filter on there. I'm gonna reuse the little spring clip here. Of course, the oil on my fingers that are make, is making this so much more fun. There we go. All right, so new fuel filters on, just like that. Now we just got to persuade the grommet in place. The brand new grommet that is feels like it's twice the size. That's what she said. Okay, I think we're good. 
So now those two fuel lines meet at this little handy dandy connector. So I'm not exactly sure why Echo moved the connector because as you can see it's much closer to the carburetor. This line was all one piece. But they moved the connector kind of in the middle here. Whatever works. This is just a barbed plastic connector. You'll notice this saw does not have a primer bulb or an air purge bulb. So that means that the any gas the carb is getting is pumped by it all by itself. There's no operator assist for starting purposes. size of a little person to get in here I'm trying to be politically correct let's get my daughter to do this you with that but anyway once you get that in place just a simple matter of putting this cover back on and you're good to go hope this video helps somebody